the 144,000 uh, that is spoken about in Revelation. And the question is, is this number symbolic or is it a literal number? The 144,000 are mentioned in two places in the Bible, Revelation chapter 7 and Revelation chapter 14. If you look at Revelation chapter 7 to start, we, it, we get some real help in understanding um, this uh, expression of the 144,000. Who are the 144,000? What does the Bible actually teach regarding them? Revelation chapter 7, let's start with verse 1, and I'll go through it. After these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth. Well, obviously, the earth does not have four corners. It's round, but four corners indicate the direction of the compass, north, south, east, west. So here is the angels are standing there, and they are belting the earth. They are circling the earth, 10,000 times 10,000 angels holding the four winds of the earth. Now, in the Bible, wind is a symbol of destruction. Da you remember the beasts that rise up in Daniel chapter 7 and verse 1 and 2, rise up as the winds fiercely blow upon the sea. Um, when you look at Jeremiah 49, for example, God says, I'll bring the winds upon Elam or the enemies of God's people. Then he says, I will bring destruction upon them. So wind is always destruction. So the angels are holding back the winds of destruction from blowing upon the earth. Then I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. What is the seal of the living God? It is a settling into God's truth, both spiritually and intellectually, so that we cannot be moved. The, a seal authenticates a document. A seal attests to the uh, authority of that document. It attests to the one that wrote the document. Seals usually have the name of the sealer, the title of the sealer, and the territory of the sealer. So, in a sense, the Sabbath will represent, in the last days of earth's history, a settling into the truth so we can't be moved. So what's being said here? It's saying that, that hold back the winds of destruction, the fierce winds of devastation, the fierce winds that are going to blow upon the earth until the servants of God are settled in God's truth and until they reveal in their hearts and lives um, the obedient, godly life that's manifest by keeping the Bible Sabbath. Um, then it says, saying, do not harm the earth and the sea till we've sealed the servants of God in their foreheads. The forehead is a sign of the conscience, the reason, the judgment. It's a sign of where we make moral decisions, our choices. Then it says, and I heard the number of those who were sealed, 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Now, in the Bible, 12 is always a symbol of completeness. 12 patriarchs in the Old Testament represent all Old Testament believers. 12 disciples represent all New Testament believers. 12 times 12, 144,000, representing the complete number of the redeemed. Now, is this a literal number or is it a symbolic number? The four corners of the earth are symbolic. The four winds are symbolic. The seal of the living God is not something stamped upon your forehead, but it's a, it's a symbol of our commitment to Christ and his truth. So it would be rather strange for the 144,000 to be a literal number and not a symbolic number if the rest of the passage is symbolic. Now, the other thing you find here is this. If you say it's literal, you come to a real problem because you say that these are literal Israelites. There's 144,000 Israelites that are saved. When you come to the New Testament after the cross, according to Galatians chapter 3, verse 27 and 29, it says, you that are Abraham's seed are heirs according to the promise. So we become, the church becomes spiritual Israel. Israel in the Old Testament, the people of God. In the New Testament, the church is the people of God. So uh, now what about 12,000 from each tribe? Number one, that would be rather strange, 12,000 from a tribe. How could that number be so precise of each tribe? And who are these tribes? The, the Israelites have so intermarried today that even the purest of Israelites do not know what tribe they came from. 
So you don't have 12,000 from every tribe that can be distinguished today. That's impossible. We don't have those 12 tribes today. So what's this talking about? If you don't have 12,000 from each tribe, and how do you know it's not 12,001 from this tribe and 12,003 from that tribe? What is this talking about? It is talking about men and women of every nation, kindred, tongue, and people. The complete number of the redeemed, the tribes of Israel represent the complete people of God, the complete church of God in the last days of verse history. They represent those who are faithful to Christ. And so the 144,000 is not necessarily a literal number. It is rather a character descriptive number. It is rather a number that describes a group of people who stand when Christ comes. Now that's Revelation 7. Now we go over to Revelation 14, and we are really helped even more in Revelation chapter 14. It says, I looked and Behold, uh, verse 1, a lamb standing on Mount Zion with him were 144,000, having the Father's name in their foreheads. The Father's name is his character. So these people reveal the beauty of Christ's character, his love, his graciousness. Uh, it says they sang a new song. Why do they sing a new song? It's the song of their experience. It's the song of Moses. They've come through the time of tribulation. They've been faithful to Christ, um, just like when Israel after the plagues went through the Red Sea, were miraculously delivered by God, and Miriam led them in a song. So we sing a new song, the song of our unique experience. We've been redeemed by God's grace, charmed by his love, saved, caught up to meet him in the sky, lived through the time of tribulation. It says, these followed the, their virgins. What does that mean, that the 144,000 are only women? Not at all. In the Bible, James 4, verse 4, it says, You adulterers and adulteresses, know you not that, that, that enmity with the world is adultery with God. So the church is the bride of Christ. She has been faithful to Christ. She's not going out and committed spiritual adultery with the world. So who are the 144,000? They are those with the Father's name in their foreheads. They reveal his character. They haven't committed spiritual adultery. In that sense, they're virgins. They follow the Lamb wherever he goes. And as they do, they're totally committed to Christ. So the 144,000 is a character designation of a people that are redeemed at the second coming of Jesus, and they represent his love and his grace to the world.